Hey guys, welcome to Gen Technology. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a cool animated navigation panel. But before we begin, let's give a shout out to one of my subscribers. So we're going to do this by using an online spindle wheel thingy. So yeah, let's go there first. And as you can see, I've listed all my uh, public subscribers. And let's click the wheel. Okay, who is it? Oh, so it's ACIC. So, ACIC. I, uh, there are a lot of fun videos in this ch and that channel. I remember. Yeah. So now let's go back to our main topic, which is uh, making the navigation panel. <clears throat> so first, let's start with the HTML part, as always. So just type HTML. Tab and all the normal stuff. Uh, this time let's add a title. So uh, the title is uh, really important actually. Uh, when people bookmark your tab, uh, then uh, this is the default name for that bookmark. Yeah. So next let's link it to this style sheet. Which is nav panel dot CSS. Next, let's add uh, four divs. Uh, these will be the navigation buttons. So we can just control paste. And also, uh, I would like to make uh, one more div for that can wrap wrap all these around so we can handle them more easily good so now about well, let's uh, create some IDs or maybe classes classes are even better so uh, let's give this div uh, a name section maybe so yeah it's for wrapping all these divs around this can be one I'm being really not creative huh so this can be two, and this can be three, and this can be four. Good. Now uh, we'll come back to this nav uh, navigation panel uh, HTML part first. Well, I mean, we're going to uh, come back later, maybe. So let's just save this. And as you can see, there's a preview here already. Let's go to the CSS part now. Okay, so first, let's uh, customize the section wrapper, that one. So I want it to have a position of absolute so we can move it around. And yeah, I want it to be in the middle, maybe. We can try it. But it, uh, this is not really important. And left is 50%. Transform translate is minus 50%, comma, minus 50%. Okay. Now let's uh, edit these classes one two three four so uh, we can just do this comma and then two comma and then three comma and then four and then uh, let's give it a width whoops oh, 50 px it's small enough and a height of 50px too so it's a uh, square and next let's uh, make a, let, let it have a border radius of 50 actually 10% is enough and also uh, we wanted to have a margin of 8px so it won't be too are stuck together so now let's save it and see what we have oh also we need a background color of red yeah 
so yeah as you can see it's quite good but I don't want it to be vertical so let's give it a float of left so just semicolon then yes we did it so uh, now I want it to uh, maybe uh, tra transform when I, ho I hover over it so let's give it a transition uh, property to all and transition duration to one second we don't want it to be too long the transition when we hover over it and yeah I think that's all we now we can do this uh, hover so I want it to be maybe longer I become a rectangle so maybe we can uh, yeah the width can be longer but the height stays the thing, same so let's try it first save it and then let me just hover over this oh cool so now uh, let's do the same for all of them just copy this and then nearly done okay so let's just change these to the respective classes and we're done. Let's just save it and then we can navigate. So uh, if you want uh, to have different colors here you can actually use separate classes so you don't need to actually uh, combine them all. I just I'm just doing this because it's easier yeah and because I'm lazy. Oh speaking of lazy Remember to check out my GitHub uh, repository with the uh, with all my code snippets. So yeah, the link is in the description, and make sure you check it out if you're a lazy coder. <laughs> so yeah, uh, in this coding lesson, you learn about transition properties, and yeah, how to make a simple transition, and a navigation panel, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed this coding lesson and remember to have fun coding. Bye.